scariest bump you ever took? Well, the scariest one I took was that power bomb from Mike Awesome over the top rope to the floor through a table. Just because I was backwards. So I'm like, I don't like this. And actually ended up pissing blood for a week because I bruised my kidney. But the scariest one was my singles match with Cactus. I climbed to the very top of so in, in the ECW arena, they had that first they had the, the that first stage, which was maybe, you know, three, four feet off the ground. And then they had the second stage where the hard cam was, and the music was, and everything up there. And when guys were jumping off that, they'd usually have a table on the second stage, or they would have tables on the, you know, on the floor. I just decided, for some fucking stupid reason, it would be a good idea if I climbed to the top of the second stage and did a Randy Savage axe handle onto Cactus. And I'm standing up there going, holy fuck, I can't, like, I can't. I like, oh my God, like, this is not good. Like, and I, and I was up there and I couldn't get down and I was going to do the big rainy savage, you know, the big like this and do the fucking jump. I went like this uh, and just <laughs> fucking jumped. <laughs> that blew out my knee. That fucking hurt like hell. You ever jump from really high and you you feel your everything go dick, 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 mm. and you get that weird, like, yeah. I, I get it in the shins. Thought, it's like, you know, a shock absorber, but it just like all shocks into your shins when you jump off something high. It's, I had its shins. And it, I felt like it went all the way up. It, I thought I, I said, I think I just killed myself. I, th- I think I just shredded my fucking innards. Does does that count as the worst injury you ever got as well, or is that something else? Um, no, because I was. I mean, I fucked up my knee, but that, I mean, we we got through it. It it, it hurt like hell at, at the time of impact, but um, worst one was probably I did a. Uh, a somersault dive on Luis Piccoli and we were off somehow and he kind of went like this and the, the back of my knee smacked on the guardrail and then my head teeter hit the ground and I, I don't remember anything. I remember coming coming to in the ambulance with uh, Tammy Sitch was in there and this was 1997 Sunny when I looked up and, and she's above me in the ambulance and I just see her face and this big white light behind her. I thought I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Are you okay, Are you okay? Uh, what the fuck's what's going on? Oh, that was that was fucking so okay. But here's a fucking story. Please. So they take me by ambulance because I was out. Finish the match somehow. If you ever look it up, it's a born to be wired show. Me versus Luis Piccoli. Worst finish ever. I give like a half at Louis on this on the top rope or the middle rope, and I kind of give like a super kick to his leg and then somehow gave him a Frankensteiner. Don't remember any of it, but come to in the ambulance. They take me into the fucking emergency room. They're giving me a thing and they're going, okay, he's conscious, you know, vitals seem okay. Uh, he's definitely concussed. Um, but we need to check him for internal bleeding. And I go, I'm like, I'm not bleeding. I hit my head. Well, they fucking turned me over on my side, cut my fucking clothes off and then stick fucking something up my ass. And they go, he's not bleeding. I go, I am now. I am now. <laughs> and, I, and I look just look over, and there's Sonny looking at me. And I'm going, I am, um, fuck, I'm highly concussed. I just got something stuck up my ass involuntarily. And I'm looking over, and there's hot Sonny from 1997. I'm going, oh, <laughs> oh my God. How did it say, nice to meet yeah. you? Uh, <laughs> Terrible. So then we, I get back to the arena, and they were setting up the, uh, the barbed wire. For Terry Funk and Sabu. And I'm walking around the ring looking for my hat. <laughs> like I just walked out to just walk out, just, uh, just walk out looking for my hat. Because Paulie <laughs> called me to the studio and he goes, I want you to walk. look, watch this. And he goes, What are you doing? He goes, You were looking for your hat. They sent security out to come get me. He said, Come on. <laughs> so I put up my hat, my hat. Why the fuck I'd be looking for my hat at ringside? I don't know. <laughs> Did it make it onto the tape? I don't think so. Oh. My, I would have left it. Like, Mikey's just fucking shot. Just lights are on, but nobody's home. Just wandering around ringside <laughs> looking for a hat. <laughs> that, that may not have existed. Do you know what? I mean, there's got to be somewhere in the archives. In WWE, someone must find that as a blooper. That's got to that's be an all-time they, one to put on. They have it. 
if they have it. I don't know like what I don't I don't know what part of the raw footage they actually all have. 